Welcome back, my dark beans, to my dark kingdom. To and ruled by me, now 58 with the 51 with the K. Sorry, messed that one up. And we're back to Alchemist Beat. And today, well, we're gonna be doing side events right here, and we're gonna see if, if we're able to do that final quest. Because, like I said, I have no idea how long this dungeon is gonna be. For all I know, it could be like a freaking long time, so. For all I know, I might not be able to start that quest, depending on long, depending. Heck, I might even end it during it just to get to the next event. Hopefully, I, or, yeah, or just dodge most of the endings. But for right now, we're gonna be doing these side events. We, I don't know how long these events are gonna last, so more than likely, they might take up the entire episode. But we're gonna see. All right, and hopefully, we have time to go into the Delusion Escape. Is my mic on? Yep. All right, so let's start these last events, possibly last events, and we're gonna move on. Let's go. Saki Hoshino. Oh, we're going to Saki, huh? Chapter 7, My Little Cryptid. What the heck? Saki sub event. Hey, what's this place? This is Sotobukia. It's a shop that sells figurines. I think they also have plushies and stuff in there, too. More than likely. I am not a plushie! Okay, why are you talking about We're not talking about you. I never said you were. You're a perverted pink pop. Plushy fans should get a restraining order against you. There we go. Yeah. Actually, what are you? Like, what's your species? What's your deal? Actually, I've been wondering what the heck you are, too. You're kind of like a dog. I'm kind of like a dinosaur. I've never seen or even heard of any other creature like you. So what are you really, Dogosaur? I'm a familiar with the storied and honorable history found in Saki's family line. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, you do keep saying that. Saki, do you even have any idea what he is? Yeah. Huh? Me? Yeah, you're the one. Yeah, obviously, you're the one that mad him. I is he a delusion? If so, he's a pretty weird looking one. Yeah. That's a good question, Pinkoon. Aren't you the least bit curious to know your roots? Maybe a smidge. Also, tablet, shut up. I think my tablet's dead. I don't know. Sorry, tablet, if I did it. All right. I thought you might be. So we have our next quest then. We go in search of Pinkoon's true origin. How the hell are we supposed to search for something like that? Exactly. Plus, your uh, freaking place is like the only place to look for, and I'm not planning to go searching that entire place for it. I mean, Asahi, let work. We go around Akihabara and see what people say. Ah, say what we do every night, huh? Ah, Pink Coon. That's a, that's a reference right there. Like I said, this game may have its faults in the fetch quest galore of having to take so long and going to the same place, even though right down the street, but uh, the references are hilarious. Alrighty then, let's see. Oh, it's just down the street. Alright, let's move. Oh, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Damn it! Freaking Triceratops again. Oh my god, why me? Hey, that guy seems pretty promising. Let's see if he can tell us anything about Pink Coon. Oh, my lord. Uh, the thing is that this game is so cringy on these side quests, it's just painful. Why him? Because he's fiddling around with those dinosaur gashapon machines. He probably knows a thing or two about dinosaurs. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about this little guy right here? I'm Pinkun. Pleased to meet ya. Why? What are you? I'm a cute, pretty mascot. You can even say I'm pretty cute. Man, you can talk, and kind of fluently, too. God, Jesus. This is what happens if a girl, uh, whatever you want to call it, a girl, valley girl, turns into a fuck, uh, to a freaking guy. Where'd you buy this thing? Yeah, where'd you buy this thing? Seriously, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh, we didn't buy him. He's just, uh... Ah, straight, huh? Hard to believe a creature like this can make this. Well, it's this I do. Thank you for your time, sir. 
Saki? Hmm? Okay, what the heck was that? Uh, I guess she doesn't want to know the truth then. Alright, uh, let's go to the... Down the street, which is down there. Electric Town, fine. Alright, I'm trying to calm myself. I don't want to take up the video too much. Alright, we're here. Japan's fantasy industry is but a shell of its former self. Oh, finally! Someone normal! Even though she's talking like that, at least she's a freaking one of the normal people that does that freaking cringy ass voice acting. Now, as I was saying, also, I'm starting to think I'm gonna just, you know, just finish one of the points of the quest and just head and just let the. and just head there and then start it when we appear here. Because it's just kinda takes too much of. Uh, pointless effort to just let you know that we're here. So, I'm just gonna do it like that. I have no idea what I'm talking about. The black screen, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm trying to explain it is a pain in the butt, and I don't even know how to explain it myself. <laughs> I wonder if she'd know anything. She seems like she'd have a firm grasp on fantastical creatures, at least. Excuse me. But would you happen to know what kind of species this character here is? Hmm? Character? This character! With two thumbs and a... Well, actually, I guess I don't have thumbs. Yeah. A fairy? There we go! I'm a fairy! No, you absolutely aren't. Yeah, we don't even know what the heck you are. You do have a strange aura to qualify as fae. Traditional fantasy may not include creatures such as you. So, not a fairy. You do speak, though. And perhaps you can speak in strange tongues, the likes of which the world has never heard. Okay, it was getting... Yeah, okay, I was saying normal, but... Normal-ish? As there are people that talk like this. Let's just... She's normal-ish. At least she's not cringy. I like Japanese. What other languages have you mastered? Uh, I don't know. Oh, how unfortunate. You're rather ordinary. Very unfair. In truth, I grow weary of this interaction. Ta! Yeah, she's higher up, huh? Such cruel bluntness! How dare she speak that way about me? Mm-hmm. We're thinking about this all wrong. Since you're familiar, you might be less fairy and more devil. Mm. The losery devil, Pinkoon. <laughs> okay, we don't need the laugh. I already get enough of that from One Piece. Something doesn't add up here. What's wrong, Katomi? Yeah, are we finally gonna figure out the truth? It's, it's probably nothing. You gonna buy something? All right, let's see where to go to next. Oh my gosh, all the way across the town. <sighs> all right, see you at your backs. Come in, aliens. Aliens, do you copy? I am speaking directly to your mind now. Oh God. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, first we go to a dinosaur valley guy. Then we went to a high society girl who's from the fairy world, and now we have a freaking alien conspirator. Man, are we gonna go? What was next? Actually, it goes by threes. Hopefully, it goes by threes. The only way thing left is a mole person. That's basically the only thing I can think of. Ugh, what is his deal? He's an alien guy. He wants to look up at aliens. An alien freak. Might be into cryptids too, though. Let's see if he can tell us anything about Pink Coon. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Can we talk to you for a second? <laughs> Who are you? Are you emissaries from Venus? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, Lord in heaven. You have no idea how many times I've seen these kind of people, not in real life, but in video games and other video games. Oh, uh, the only game that I accept that is Destroy All Humans. That's the only game I accept that. Ten years we've been waiting. I've heard 
Let's just let you guys know. Nordic has gotten the rights. For peace sakes, please! I want another look to destroy all humans, please! It's been so long! Now I'll continue on with this. <sighs> yeah, as I was saying, I've seen these kind of people, not in real life, but on YouTube and on video games, that they each have their own planets to talk to. Let's just say that. What? Me? V Venus? Is this the girl thing from Venus thing? Girls are from Mars, the uh, boys are from Mars, the girls are from Venus? Yes, I remember. I remember the thing, yeah. Hey now, don't go repatriating us to other planets. We're Earthlings, thank you. Yeah, besides, freaking Saki's loser girl is... Saki, are you way too freaking, uh, freaking, uh, what is it? Uh, what's the word I'm talking about? Influence, there we go, by other people. Oh, that's right. Venus is also a planet. <clears throat> uh, would you happen to know anything about this little guy? Oh, for few sakes. Saki! The pink head landed! What in the name of the Pleiades? Okay, Pleiades, okay. They call me Coop. Pink Coop. AJ Double R Cute. Thank you. Am I on TV? This can't be real. Do you look? You are literally looking up at aliens right now, bro. Oh, it's real, buddy boy. Are you the thing whose mind I was touching? You do seem potentially alien-esque, though of indeterminate origin. Hey, nobody touches my mind but me. You couldn't handle my mind. Well, to answer the lady's question, then I don't know what you are. You're like some kind of Mothman, perhaps? That or a chupacabra, or maybe the corpse of a basking shark? My uh, basking shark? Oh, so you've heard of that one. In other words, you don't have a clue. The truth is not out there. Though this guy sure is. Let's try someplace else, Skyfish. Ah, why not? Let's go to another area. I'm no fish, Dingus. Get bent. Quiet down, Pinkoon. So, what have we learned about your true identity today? Alright, so we didn't have to go there. It's always the Garula 3 here. That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, all we got is... Uh... Something that could possibly be a dinosaur dog thingy. Uh... A fairy, possibly, which is not. And... Something from... That could be a cryptid. You really do want to know, don't you? Huh? Of course. Why wouldn't I? I swear, Saki knows the freaking truth. Okay, can we all just say it? It's obvious that he's a freaking delusion. He's a delusion. From her freaking mind. It's kind of obvious here. Um, Pinkoon, have you ever wanted to meet your parents? Wait, what? I've actually never thought about it. Really? Never? Okay. I'm happy just being with you, Saki. Wow. Well, thanks, I guess. So make sure you always, always, always stay with me forevermore, okay? Forevermore, huh? She knows that he's a freaking delusion. We all know it. Saki? We all freaking know it. He's a freaking delusion, people. Sorry, outburst. Also, I'm getting kind of hungry. So I guess you can call it hangry. Chapter 7, my little cryptid, Saki Sovan, and... Okay, so we're still not finished with her her journey yet. The reason why I know we're not finished with her journey is because the achievement hasn't come up. and Which means we still have something else to do after uh, the Acoustica's thing. Alright, we're going down the street to look at that, and then there, and hopefully we have enough time to... Uh, what was it? To enter this place. Let's move. There's about to be an event of some kind. Alright, we're here. Let's go see. Mizuki uh, Aihara. Stop it. Where is the other character? Seriously, we haven't seen the other. It's all about Mizuki and Saki here. Man, let's go. Chapter 6. Those were the days. Mizuki sub event. Old games! Get your old games here! 
tiny plastic rectangles. Relive your childhood in low definition. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Um, oh, I fell asleep. It's not coming out. <clears throat> I usually try to force it out. <clears throat> okay, it's not gonna. Get your old games here, tiny plastic. Oh, yeah. Dude, think they've got anything good? Come on, let's go check it out. Ooh. Haven't grown up at all, have you? You always did love your games. Who does it? Heck, I'm playing one right now. I didn't hear you taking that holier than thou attitude back in the day. We played everything together, remember? There was that really kick ass one we used to play with Hosky all the time, even. What was it called again? Man, when it comes to non essential life skills, your memory is fantastic. I don't remember that at all. Well, because you're normie. <laughs> Childhood friendship credentials revoked. Ha! A tragedy, to be sure. So, what is it you're hoping to find here, anyway? One of those ninja ones, or a samurai fighter? But don't tell me it's the one where you sneak around as a thief. Oh, I swear. I swear to freaking... Oh my gosh. I can see... I can see so much references here. Aha! Uh -huh. So you do remember it! Only because it was so weird. You were the only kid in school who played that kind of stuff. I mean, sure, it was kind of fun, but it wasn't exactly grade schooler material for most kids. What game did you play? Of course not. You were way too cool for that. But Hazuki, she knew how to have fun. <laughs> hey, that's right! Hazuki's out of the hospital now, isn't she? Let's get her a game to celebrate her recovery. Wait, she is? Huh? Wait, she's out of the hospital? What? What? Why is that strange? No real reason. It just feels kind of weird to play games when the world is the way it is. Who cares? Who freaking cares? At this point, you're gonna repeat Sunday every time. Hey, it's important to take a breather every once in a while, regardless of how loopy time may be. Classic Asahi. Yeah, I guess I could do with a nice change of pace. Good. And Azuki would definitely appreciate it, I'm sure. Let's hurry up and pick a game. I think that thief one you mentioned would be perfect. But isn't that a single player game? Shouldn't you go for something we can all play, like Super Crash Sisters? Mmm. <sighs> oh, Lord in heaven. The references. Well, you know, any port in a storm. Though, wait, Hazuki was crazy good at SCS, wasn't she? We should get that. SCS? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. I can't believe they didn't have it. Has the word common lost all its meaning? It's a freaking old ass game! If you're. Wait, how old is it? Wait, what year are we in? Are you in the future? All I know is that if you're looking for one of those freaking cartridges, my gosh, those are freaking rare beyond belief. That was just one place, Asahi. And this is Akihabara. We'll find it at the next one for sure. Oh, you guys, to freaking think of that. Oh, of course. I'm not giving up. This is a job for Super Potato. To the side streets. There's not a moment to lose. Super Potato? What? The okay, I'll see you back. Alright, we're back. Who would name a game store something like this? Anyway, I just hope they have what we're looking for. But what's it called? They totally do. Had it in stock last time I checked, anyway. Well, if it's been, well, if this is nostalgia place, of course people are gonna start buying it. Sold out. Last one just walked out the door. What the hell kind of luck is that? <laughs> a hilarious one. Hey, don't sweat it. It's the thought that counts, right? Did you pick up anything at all? Sure did. Got bit by the nostalgia bug. Remember this one? It's one of those panel shifting puzzlers. Which one? Oh, I totally do. But most of those memories are vague and angry because it was so freaking hard. Ha! <laughs> oh, the rage! <laughs> you always used to give up halfway through the levels and have me beat them for you. Good times. Yep. I remember that. Except. Weren't the rules reversed? Weren't you the one doing all the rage quitting? 
Was I? Oh! Oh! It's a- Oh! The nostalgia's a foot! Oh, I wanna know which one was it? The Karmisuki or the Asahi? Yeah, because I distinctly remember being stubborn as anything. Once I started a game, I'd keep at it till it was done. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's me! Unfortunately, I got so much games right now that I'm freaking uh, speed trying to speedrun most of them. And most of them I haven't even finished because I have to move on to the next one! Ah, oh, I gotta get back to those real fast. Which did lead to you and I getting into fights sometimes, but we always had Hoski to step in and sort us out. Huh, I don't quite remember that either. Well, because you're- oh man, you- basically, how dare you? Again with the selective memory, huh? Congratulations, Mizuki. You're officially an adult. Welcome! Not today, I'm not. Come on, we have another game store to raid. Yep. Okay, what's this place called? I can't read that. If anyone in the comments, let me know what that says. Oh. Nas Pro Parabo. That's not what it's called. Okay. Or is this this one? Huh. I don't know. But, yeah. Alright. Wait. Or is it put above here? I don't know. Let me know in the comments which, what these mean. Alright. So, it's just down the street. See you then. Hey, it's Hazuki. Nice. Let's talk. Oh, hey, Ahasuki. Are uh, we almost done? Nice. What brings you two lovebirds to this neck of the woods? Ha! <laughs> well, um... We wanted to get you a gift to celebrate your discharge from the hospital. One of those games we always used to play. A hospital discharge gift, huh? Are you okay, Hasuki? What's happening? Sorry. I just felt really down all of a sudden. Why would that be? It might have something to do with you wanting to celebrate my discharge from the hospital, maybe? I fail to see how. Yeah. It just warms the cockles of my heart to see how much you two have grown up, is all. Both because you thought to buy me something, and because you were worried about me. Makes this big sis proud. <laughs> Are you okay, Mizuki? In less emotional news, what game were you planning on picking up, Asahi? Oh, yeah, that. You remember that one game we used to play all the time, Super Crash Sisters? Oh my gosh! Whoa! For reals? So you do remember it. Remember it? I just bought it! Wait, what? Seriously? Seriously. I just popped into some store with a crazy name to see what they were selling, and there it was! Wait, was this place... Are you serious? Uh, I think it was on the side streets. Seeing it just punched me right in the nostalgia. Oh my gosh! How? What are the odds? So you were the one who ganked it right before we arrived. <laughs> who ganked what now? Let, let's just not talk about that. Oh, nothing. I'm just glad this all worked out so well in the end. Now let's go get our KOs on. KO! Sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Oh, what? You can't? Why not? When this is all over, I wonder if you'll even want to play games with me. What does that mean? Ah, oh, wait! Wait, please! No! Oh, Mizuki, no! Oh, wait, now that I think about it, remember, this is all entirely a delusion. Somebody created this delusion, which means everything that's happening is a delusion, possibly. Oh, does that mean... Oh, wait! Oh, Mizuki! Oh, please, no! Chapter 6, those were the days, and Mizuki's still been- Oh, I'm worried! Oh, that's right, I forgot! This could be- Hatsuki could be a del- Uh, could be a delusion! For what we know! Oh, no! We're gonna lose a waifu here! Maybe, hopefully not! She might be in the hospital! Or worse! Let's move on to the last event. Actually, we're making great time. We might actually do the event, uh, the quest today. All right, let's go to the one down the streets. And yeah, let's move. Uh, we're gonna do Moi next. And I'm just assuming because we're headed to the cat area. Let's move. Why? All right, oh, so we are here. I need to change you, hold up. There's going to be an event any moment now. I can feel it. 
Okay, we're here, and yeah, I changed her into her. To her, but yeah, we're here with the kid to see the cat. I wonder whose event this is. Let's see. Ryu Momosa. Wait, Ryu? I thought it was gonna be one of the uh, one of the bays. No, all right. Chapter seven. Concert prep. Concert prep. <laughs> Ryu sub event. Better get ready. The live show starts real soon. Oh dear lord, I forgot how she talks. Hmm. Why, you say? Oh lord. <laughs> Interested? Uh, at least she didn't say it there. <laughs> Let's get hyped together. A live show, huh? You wanna go see it? I do. Even more than that, what I really want to do is perform. Without the help of a delusion, through my own strength, I want to stand up and perform before a live audience. Love the enthusiasm. Let's show everyone what you're made of with that, um, fresh new tune of yours. Yep. That's all well and good, but we can't perform a concert without a proper venue, now can we? Hmm. Yeah, finding a venue will be kind of a challenge, won't it? What's going on? What is it? I think I know a place. Sing a song, babe, today for you. Oh, karaoke. No one else here. These planes, my stages. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, where that weirdo was performing earlier. Yep, exactly. We'll need equipment, though, won't we? What are we doing? Equipment, you say? Let me tell you a little story. I'm the proprietor of Silver Sound. It's an audio specialty store here in Akihabara. Been running it for nearly 20 years now. That's an awfully long time to run a business here. I hear you. But Silver Sound will cover all your audio needs. Amps, speakers, headphones. You name it, we got it. That owned a dude should have us covered. At least if his sales pitch is to be believed. I think he was on Junk Street. Uh, so we're going to the, Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, speak of the last place now. Oh, no? Also, what is up with it? We barely get to deal with this girl! Come on! She's like everyone's face. She has to be everyone's face. Why do we have to deal with her? Man, she barely... She only appears in quests. Ah, uh, too bad. Alright. Let's see. Wait, head to silver. That better be marked. Okay, it's marked because the last thing I was to freaking try to go find it. All right, be back. All right, we're here. Let's go talk to this guy. Yes, this is the place. And sorry, I said I wasn't even gonna bother doing that to uh, let you guys know and just let you know once we get into this cutscene. But uh, it's a habit. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hopefully I'll be able to, like, not do that anymore. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to Silver Sound. Hi. Um, we're looking to put on a live show. You happen to sell any equipment we could use for that? Live show, huh? Yeah! I want everyone to hear my awesome new song! But, I don't even have a single speaker or microphone to my name. Oh, so you're talking gear, then. Good boy. You in for a treat. Frankly, I'm kind of shocked that a young kid like you's got such an interest in audio kit. So do you have anything I could work with? Oh yeah, for sure. Though I really can't recommend buying this kind of gear without doing your research beforehand. How come? Well, duh. Depending on the gear, it could collide with other gear, and it's all about the sound, baby. It's all about the sound. You gotta make sure you get the right gear for the job. You can't just purchase something just out of the blue. I take speakers, right? If you're the discerning type, they can jump up in price pretty fast. And if you're not, well, cheap ones can get pretty crackly. Low price begets low quality. That's the way the audio world rocks and rolls, my friend. Oh, yeah. Most people just do it for the nostalgia fact that they hear that. But you gotta be freaking 
uh, yeah, you gotta be, uh, perceptive. A lot of things you have to be perceptive about. Aww, I should've known. But, I don't think that'll be a problem for you. Huh? Speaker or no speaker, if you pack your song full of feeling, the crowd will go wild every time. That's true. <laughs> Might lose my audio file card if people ever caught me saying stuff like that, though. I really do believe in the power of music. A voice chock full of emotion can pass through walls that even the strongest audio equipment can't rattle. So, give it your all, and I know you'll be just fine. Okay, thank you. Right then. Once you got the deets worked out, by all means, give me a holler. I'll be right here. Always am. Yep, you are. He's right, isn't he? Yep. Do you think we'd see him again? He basically appears like twice in this entire game. We've only seen him since the beginning and like during a quest where he had to go into his emo phase. But now he's back here. This is actually pretty cool. Nippity? Mr. Onda reminded me of something. I may not be dependent on a delusion anymore, but I was still about to put all my faith in some audio equipment. So Asahi, I'm not gonna rely on gear anymore either. It's gonna be all me from here on out. Oh, respect. Sweet. Um, but I guess that leaves us back at square one. What do we do now? Now? Go into the freaking plaza. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, yeah, that is the question, isn't it? to order food and drinks. Dine with us and say we made your day. Bring this flyer in for a free drink. Made you look. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it. What? What is? What now? Flyers. We can make a flyer for my performance. I feel like we're not even gonna bother having to deal with this. Oh, okay. That sort of makes sense. <laughs> Oh, if they don't know the venue, how can they show up? Let's do it, Nippity. We can go to UBX to have them, uh, made. Made? Either way, UBX is said to be the cheap printing capital of Akiba. I guess. Great! I'll put my heart into some handmade flyers so people will come see me sing. Oh, for few sakes! It's time for the search! Onward to UBX. All right, here. Let's go see. I got. I. Th I gotta stop doing that. I, like I say, it's just so second nature to me to tell you two that we're here. Uh, let's go. Okay. We should be able to make all the flyers we need right here. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? Did she say what do you mean? Or I was yawning at the moment. Done and done. Oh, that was fast. Oh, wow, they're really cute. Yep. But, uh, there's no date or venue written on them anywhere. Well, I mean, with the way things have been lately, we can't exactly commit to a date, now can we? Ah, that's true. No, I suppose not. So I'll just add the date by hand later. Then I can decide what kind of venue would best suit my performance, too. Alright, that's a pretty smart way to do it, actually. Actually, that is pretty smart. But you can, uh, hopefully you don't have to take... Did you make a thousand or something? So, hold on a sec. Huh? What is it? Saying you're gonna perform in public is all well and good, but is that... okay? Huh? Well, like with your agent. Don't you need to get permission to put on a concert? Ah, oh, man. My agent? Wait, what? Yeah, you can't just put on concerts whenever you want, right? Idols have to coordinate shows with their agents. Yeah, your agent. Whether it's a big delusion-sized event or a tiny shindig, it'd be a risk to your career not to at least check in. I hear about that all the time. It's the bane of idolhood. Yep, it is. Everyone has an agent. What? What do you mean, what do I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mippity, what is what's wrong? Go? Are you okay? Your big show may have ceased to exist when we nullified the delusion, but you are still an up-and-coming idol, right? 
Yeah. You've even got devoted fans, like old goggles. Yeah, I guess I do. Which means... Nippity? Are you gay? Wait, that was it? Wow, whoa, what just happened? That was it? Oh my god, that was a short one, my goodness. I'm about to cry. But what just happened? Chapter 7, constant prep. Reads of an end. Okay! Okay, so let's see any final events that appear because you know, once you finish one event, it might appear for that same character. Alright, okay. So let's head back to the Delusion Escape and enter that place because we have time right now. Alright, let's go! This may be a longer video than usual. Maybe it might be an hour or not. Let's go! Let's move it! Move! 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 Oh, I ruined that. All right, we're back. Let's see what's happening. All right, we're here, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Uh, this place is every bit as tasteless as I remembered it. Yeah. Seriously, I did not expect Constance to create this, but I guess it's the cliche. The big-ass, bad-ass villain is going to have a good side, uh, list, uh, hilariously something not evil side of, the, of them somewhere I think it's cute but in kind of a disturbing upsetting sort of way yeah kind of weird it's because Kasuga doesn't have a cute bone in his body oh yeah this really doesn't suit him okay so I'm guessing the delusion created something that Kasuga doesn't even have maybe it's not his wait what what do you mean Asahi Okay, then who is it then? I can't figure out whether this delusion is Cannon's or Kasuga's. What? Oh, that's... Oh, okay, my brain hurts. Are we saying that this delusion scape was created when Kasuga brought Cannon into the world? Or is Cannon the deluser here? Did he create this after he was born? Oh, because you're talking about when we met Cannon. Does it matter? I'm going to reduce it to rubble soon enough. That's a pretty advanced philosophical question, Tachibana. It sounds really wrong coming from you. Yeah, it does. It's because he met Cannon. Well, it's been bugging me. Something must have happened to get you all thoughtful all of a sudden. Spill. Well... You do seem a little more preoccupied than usual, Asahi. Yeah, well, Asahi's not displaying. It's nothing. Oh, for bulk! Why is this always like this? Asahi, sorry, guess I kind of killed our let's go get a mood, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Forget I brought it up. No matter whose delusion this is, we've got to beat both Kasuga and Cannon. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back once you get there. So, see you then. Alright, I'm back, and my god, this dungeon is a pain in the ass. Oh lord, so many fucking branches that go. Oh man, literally just two. Just, dude, I'm a what? What level am I? On? I'm a level ten. Level, level ten and a level eight. I think I just gave up and just went through the dungeon. There was no enemies in the path. There were in branches, and I just had to give up because literally these dungeons are just pain in the ass. Oh, not to mention the puzzles. All right, but we're here. Let's go and see what this event. More later, we still have to go up. To get to Kasuga, but like I said, we're probably just gonna head straight to freaking Kasuga at this point. I don't know why these battlefields, these batteries even have these paths. There's no treasure in here. But whatever, let's see the event. Ew, it smells super nasty in here. Yeah, Kasuga's nearby. It's anyway. coming from somewhere ahead, right? That's what my nose tells me. Then we follow your nose. There's no time to waste. All right. Uh, something about this feels especially creepy. Well, we're about to find out what's about to happen. Don't worry. We'll take down Cannon, Kasuga's delusion. And this time we'll finally stop the spread of delusions. Hopefully. Hmm. Hey, Asahi. For the love of all that's unholy, you're not having second thoughts about destroying this delusion, are you? Fair not. Huh? Yamato, that's enough. No, he's fine. I'm sorry. You really are acting strange. 
What happened to you, Asahi? Yeah. Yes. What aren't you telling us? You stop too, Ko. I'm sure Asahi has his reasons. <sighs> Is it something you're not even comfortable telling us? Well, here's the thing. Like I said, I can't remember if he's the one that made the switch. But I swear, I think the first episode I made of this, maybe he said something. I don't know. I might need to go back and watch my first episode. Probably I won't. But so, like I said, he might have made a wish. I ran into him. Okay, he's about to say. Cannon. I met him. What? what? When was this? Last night after we parted ways, right at the Electric Town exit. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Because I couldn't quite get my thoughts in order. Did he say something to you? Yeah. What could he have told you that you couldn't talk to us about? No, it's not that exactly. It's just... Just what? It's just... He said it. He said the thing we figured out. That he is himself, but is also different. Okay. That the delusion contractor is an avatar, which is why he's himself, but also someone else. And what was so important about that? I think it means that the canon Asahi met and the canon we're facing in here are two different entities. Okay, so we have figured it out. That wasn't all he said, though. Yes? He doesn't know himself. He pondered whether he was a delusion given human form. Or a human born of a delusion. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a brain eater right there. Huh. I guess that confusion is why he'd call himself an avatar then. Because he doesn't know himself. Not quite human, not quite delusion, but an existence that's sort of an avatar of both? Probably. I don't understand a single thing any of you just said. Me either. Give me the short version. What was Cannon trying to tell you with all this? According to him, nothing much. He said the only reason he sought me out was to air a grievance with me. What kind of grievance? Yeah. That I'm the one responsible for everything being the way it is. You? Personally? Okay, now even I'm lost. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, please! This is getting confusing! Why did you ever make that wish? Why would you have ever wished for anything at all? I can't get his words out of my head. Okay, so what's the wish? Is this the one where the sending thing? What wish did you make? You don't think. I'm sorry I couldn't bring myself to tell you guys about this before. Don't worry about it, Asahi. Seeing you act all humble like that is actually kind of humbling, really. Yeah, basically, you, I guess if I can remember, I can't remember for Jack. Somebody tell me, let, somebody let me know in the comments if whether or not his wish is basically the Sunday thing, and if you said it, like, in the beginning. Sounds like that was really weighing on you. Next time, break down like the neat you are and tell us sooner. Because I think we all, well, you know. Yep. No, I don't know. What were you going to say about we all? What were you about to group me into? Okay, you need to shut up, Sanada. You're really annoying. Even more annoying is Saki at this point because she's actually stopped being the beyond belief. Uh, I'm the whole holy person or something. <laughs> if you don't know, you don't deserve to. Thank you for telling us, Asahi. And please, don't ever feel like you have to deal with these things on your own. Even if he's right, even if this is somehow your fault, we'd never hold it against you. Oh, sorry. Just need to scratch my back a bit. Not even me! And that's Pinku. Thank you. I appreciate that. But what did Cannon's words actually mean? Dunno. But we're not far from him now. Let's ask him ourselves. Time out. We just got done talking about how this Cannon's different from the one Tachibana spoke with. Well, remember, he said he's not himself. But then he also said that he is. He exists as one and as many. So basically, hive mind. Can we stop? Please! Uh, this is getting me a headache, too. In fact, I feel confident in saying that all the cannons are linked. Okay, so if we kill one cannon, 
Okay, so we need to kill what cannon is the one spawning them or somehow infest them. Yeah, that seems infect legit. <sighs> Got the shakes on. How could I not? I'm terrified to find out what cannon meant. Would you rather be turned tail here? No. I have to keep moving. Then what are we lollygagging for? Let's go then. Come on, everyone. Lollygag no more. Kasuga and Cannon should both be nearby. Alright, the final battle has almost arrived. Alright, see you back. Alright, we're back here. Now let's go see what's going on here. Oh, I was wondering when you'd show up. What's up? Kasuga. Welcome to our humble abode. What's up, Cannon? The pleasure's ours, you pink-caped freak. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you. Thought you might have run away. That would have been the smart choice. Yeah, smart, but no cigar. <laughs> We're not known for our smart choices. Time to cut the crap, Kasuga. Hmm? Me? What crap would I have to cut? There's no way you'll ever become a god. You have to know that. You called yourself a chosen one and went around destroying delusions. Now you start lacking imagination? Look well, he does have a point. So your delusion is to become a god? It's not a delusion. It's reality. I will become a god. And you'll get to bear witness to my ascendance. Tell me, do you know what a god does? I don't have to to know you're full of crap. Now, oh. Come on. Why have you got to be so cold to your old buddy, Kasuga? A god's duty is to grant wishes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I can do. Because what is a wish if not a delusion? Nobody would ever be mad at a guy for granting wishes, would they? Depending on what the wish is. So you're saying you're just going to go around granting whatever wishes you feel like granting then? Wouldn't that make people happy? Look at the state of our society. People are awful at self-assertion. They can't even bring themselves to say what's in the depths of their souls. That's why they need a god like me. I can put everyone on equal footing. I can't deny that there are a lot of people out there afraid to speak their minds. But there's nothing wrong with that, because they'll always find someone they can open up to. Such naivete. And you really shouldn't talk back to your god. Yeah, why not? Especially one who gave you the delusion contractor canon, the greatest development of our lifetimes. He's like a dream come true. Whose dream? That's the real question. Mine. From way back when I was just an itty bitty boy, Okay, so, imaginary friend, then. What are you talking about? Once I realized that the delusions I saw were, in fact, delusions, my world changed completely. My everyday life as I knew it was over. My family was torn apart. It was as big a change as any the world's ever seen. Before I knew it, I was locked away in a dark room and subjected to a myriad of experiments. A human guinea pig. Ah, okay, that's bad. No matter how loud I cried out, how much I said, it hurts. Save me, stop. Nobody heard me, nobody came, nobody helped. Of course, when you're experimenting with delusions, you need a test subject. I mean, it only stands to reason, right? And so, even at a young age, I remember thinking, there is no God. So you decided to become one yourself? That's right. That's exactly right. If I become God, then this world will finally turn the way it's meant to. I didn't have the power as a child. I couldn't fill that void. And that little boy, unable to realize his dream of becoming an omnipotent being, was forced to find a new dream. So he played along. Pretended to share the DAB's ideals. If he did that, maybe he could get his hands on his new dream. And what is that new dream? 
The purest dream a lonely person could ever have. To have a friend. Nothing more. You're not talking about... A friend who is himself a beautiful dream. Someone who could grant the boy's wish, and everyone else's too. Canon. Okay, that makes sense. He basically created an imaginary friend that can do anything he wants. Time passed, and that boy became a man. And that man met the friend he'd wished for from the very bottom of his heart. And that friend helped him remember his old dream. His dream to become God. So, I guess in a way, I really do owe you all thank you cards. You don't owe me Jack. Oh, but I do. I wouldn't have been able to meet Cannon without you. What do you mean? Okay, let's see. Man, the big reveal, let's see. You seriously haven't noticed. Cannon is a byproduct of the reality we exist in right now. For the one who made me what I am today, the one responsible for everything going on, is you. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we figured out that Asahi. Okay, so that's happening. Are you saying? Okay, so Asahi's the one that caused this. Okay, I thought it was Saki, but it looks like my theory is still up for debate. It's still up to credence. Somebody did create this. I thought it was Saki, but it looks like it was Asahi. So it is a little bit in my theory. My deepest thanks to you, Asahi. So what happened? What does that mean? Yes, I want to know, is he the one that made the Sunday wish? Asahi, you've put everything you have into this crazy quest of yours. And because of that, Cannon was born. Okay, so what quest? The quest to become a need? The quest to be actually do something? What? Who started this? Just tell me already. How is this my fault? Please! My delusion alone wasn't enough. It was ill-equipped to create a being of Cannon's majesty. So i would just been waiting. Biding my time, hungrily seeking the perfect opportunity to bring him into the world. But no matter how long I waited, the chance never came. Until one day, a young woman came to Akihabara. Saki? Oh my gosh! Okay, so Saki, okay, so my theory's still coming in here. Yes, Princess. You were the one to give me the opening I so sorely needed. Delusions spread so much faster in Akiba than anywhere else. It's as if the whole town is shrouded in unreality. And the effect that has is immense. Strong enough to make time loop upon itself. So I put my plan into effect. I knew that now, I could finally meet Cannon. Okay, okay, so we have the Kree's. Sasaki arrived. She's the one. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that because Saki arrived, she met him, Asahi, during the journey, they both saw the thing, and then saying to Saki, because being a whole chosen one, holy and vile thing, she forced him into this. So it was Saki's fault this entire time. So it's basically a co theory here. Wait, so Tannen isn't responsible for the day repeating? Jeez, just because a delusion can spawn others, you think it can alter the flow of time? Come on now. Oh, and then what is this? Can he. Not? Oh my gosh, you're confusing me here. Come on! Not at all. Talk about oversimplifying things. Stay with me now. Rumors of canon only started spreading after Sunday began repeating, right? Yeah. The rumors? So that's it. So wait, after sun. So, wait, does that. I'm getting confused. Let's continue on. Hey, stop understanding things that we're still trying to figure out. Yeah, please. I'm still trying to figure this out. Is it... So, how did the rumors start then? Oh, ragey, ragey, ragey. You always were a sharp one. Yes, the rumors themselves were the catalyst. What the... Wait, did you just... That makes... Wait, hold up. But you just said the rumors started after the Sunday started repeating. Before there was a cannon, I was cannon. Donning a pink cape and kidnapping a random maid to keep things interesting. So... Wait, you're the... Okay, now I'm starting to see it. So wait, Canada didn't even... Oh... So wait, Canada didn't even exist now. Okay, now I'm starting to see it. Canada didn't even exist yet. Based because Kasuka was Canada before, he's the one that caused the rumors. So... 
In the end, Cannon appeared, and then... Wait, the sun that repeat. Oh, Making certain that I had witnesses, of course. So you were the one who kidnapped Moe way back when. Dang. Then a handy group of meddling kids went searching for the man in pink. Questioning every Akihabara citizen they could find, and perpetuating the rumors even farther. So wait, how did the sun that repeat, though? How did the Sunday repeat? Because you said it didn't start after the Sunday repeated. How? I need to know. Did I lose something? Did I lose track or something? Somebody let me know. No, that can't be. So in the end, it was our group's fault that this was happening. In the end, we helped Canon exist. And that's how it all started. The delusion of the pink caped man. An urban legend brought to life. So basically every Sunday... Every time we question people, and also we were assuming that, also we were assuming that everybody would forget everything, but in the end we were causing it. So the urban legend itself became a delusion. That's right, Rabbit. Delusions aren't reset when time skips back. An urban legend can persist from loop to loop. Th oh, so that's how urban legends were created. The more people talk about it, the more it becomes reality. That's well in reality, of course that doesn't happen. I for I know I have no idea. But in but in video games in this one, so basically every time the time loop happens, the it, the thing becomes a reality and le and it becomes legend. So the legend of the pink caped man lives on, as if it had been whispered about for years. So that's why the number of people who'd heard of the pink caped man seemed to grow. And since it's a delusion, normal logic doesn't apply. People bought into the story the second they heard it. Yep. Well, it helps if you give it a little bit of dramatic flair. Put a name on it, like the Delusion Contractor. You even gave him his title? God, Jesus, man. Of course I did. And I spread it far and wide. That was made a lot easier, of course, by a gang of do-gooder kids. And he wasn't just a man in a pink cape. No, he was a being capable of manipulating delusions. So in the end, the first time he appeared was, okay, so Moe, okay, so let's get this thing started. He kidnapped Moe, and then he's the one that caused this. He's the one that opened a delusion, somehow. Oh wait, no, Cannon was the one in the delusion area, and he's the one that opened it for Kasuga so he can move around. And eventually, it caught Cannon appear. This man of mystery wore a silk hat, had a golden bob, and even carried a cane. It all came from your questioning. His appearance? You came up with that. His powers as a delusion contractor? That was all you too. So basically, we created Cannon. Cannon only exists because we're the one that created him. So I brought the canon rumor to life because I helped spread it? Mm-hmm. Took you long enough, but you finally get it. And that's why I've got to thank you. So basically, this canon here only exists because he donned the outfit and then thanks to everybody talking and thanks to everyone witnessing what he w was wearing, everybody was basically said they were questioning him and they were questioning him about yeah and they, everyone said yeah that's what he wore and everything and then he was created cannon's not my delusion not yours but the collective delusion of everyone in akihabara okay so he is a delusion from everybody and the more the rumors of his exploits spread the more readily people will believe in him so yeah you might not have known it but you use the people of akiba to give birth to cannon and empower him then what were the letters? Letters? Oh, the warning letters. I almost forgot about those. See, once I had Cannon, well, I didn't need you anymore. So you tried to keep us out of the delusion scapes. Unfortunately, you were a little too good at your job. Too many Cannons were born, and I only wanted one true friend. And disposing of the others was a painful task. But it did allow me to winnow them down to the one true cannon. My greatest friend, my true blue, my honey BFF. 
That is not best friend. And you're really putting his creation on me after all your machinations? You've got to be out of your mind. And what you wished for? It's not a friend at all, much less a best friend. It was somebody you could use for your own twisted ends. That's no friend. That's a tool. And so are you. Asahi. Damn. You don't get to decide who's a friend or not. You don't know what my life has been. What it is now. Painful, I imagine. You suffered a lot. There's no contesting that. But what you're doing is wrong. Besides, if you do become a god, your days of having friends will be over and done with. Who do you think will listen to your troubles, talk with you, and understand where you're coming from? Hell, who even could at that point? How many times do I have to tell you? I've got this guy right here. I don't need anybody but Cannon. You can say it till you're blue in the face, Ugh, gosh. but that won't make it any truer. If I really was the catalyst here, I need to take responsibility. It's a heavy weight, but it's on my shoulders. I spread a lot of the rumors too. Okay, so now this is the moment whether or not we'll be able to defeat him. Just let you guys know, I have a lot of health potions, a lot of SP potions, and both, and the combination of both in the pull one potion. So we're gonna see whether or not we're able to hold them off, or well, the gameplay may end. Fighting a god sounds pretty rad to me. It's about time to put our old friendship six feet under, anyway. We won't let you get away with this. It's time to answer for your crimes. You dare defy God? Fine then. I might as well give Smiting a try. Alright, let's do this. And when you lose, I'll make sure Cannon's name is on the lips of every man, woman, and child in this reality. And then it can begin. The rebirth of the world in my image. Okay, there's the evil spiel. Not if we can help it. There's the evil villain spiel. Only a witless fool would deign to defy God. Alright. Now, obviously, you can see the things charge up, so obviously, I'll see you back once we defeat him. Hopefully. Alright. See you back. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Well, that was actually an intense battle. Oh, well, not that really intense. Luckily. I didn't even have to use any potions. That was actually pretty good. Huh, good thing I had the abilities of the cards and what was it? You know those trading cards I had and Ryu and Mizuki's healing. Without them, I don't think we would have been able to survive this. Thankfully. Now that I think about it, oh yeah. Hopefully that these guys won't separate into parties because I doubt we'll be able to survive that thing. All right, let's move. It's over. We won. Damn it. My... my dream. Thank you. Wait. No, 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 please. Wait. For calling me your best friend. Don't go! Goodbye. No! If only you and I had met sooner. What the heck was that sound? Cannon wasn't this delusion's grand phantasm? This can only mean... Who the heck's delusion is this? That we've still got a grand phantasm to take down. Then who the heck's delusion is this place? Finally, the real deal shows itself. So, okay, let's do... Stop! Wait, please! <sighs> Don't take this from me. Please. We have to. Are you? You've never been alone, Kasuga. You've had friends before. People who cared. My only friend is Cannon. You should be the one to do this, Reiji. And why is that? Kasuga could never have been a friend of mine. Not as he is now. Though I guess you could say he once was. Stay back. Don't do this. You know what, Kasuga? I am your friend. And I'm going to finish this. All right, then. Is that what you were looking for, Asahi? Yeah, exactly. 
Trying to finish this. Just, just don't forget about him after this day is over. Be his friend again. Come on, people. We've got a delusion to nullify. Okay, so can we at least say? Stop! See you on the other side, Kazuga. Only one enemy. The odds are in our favor. Okay, a unicorn. Take this, take this. Sorry. As I was saying, see you back in a little bit after we defeat this enemy. All right, we're back. That dude, that Brand Fanny was an endurance test. Literally, it was he was literally built right there. When I mean built, I mean literally. He was able to hold us off. But it's over. We finally did it. All right, let's do on. It's over. Yep. Let's go, Asahi. For daytime to twilight. Looks like he's awake. Yep. Huh? Your long nightmare is over. And you are? What am I doing here? Where is this? A pitiful end for a pitiful man. Oh, yeah. Do I know you? Your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> Chairman Yuki. Chairman? Who are you? And how do you know my name? No. We nullified it. I see. Thank you. It's probably ridiculous for me to be saying that. But thank you, nonetheless. You okay to see to him from here? That was my intent. Much obliged. Take care of him. Yeah. We need it. Yep. It's time for, for a new start. Hold it. A new delusion has appeared at the Electric Town exit, and a delusionscape entrance has been confirmed. This isn't over yet. It will be. The final battles of you is about to begin. Far be it for me to disappoint a beautiful woman. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. All right, let's see this final delusion. Oh, right there. Oh man. Okay, so we're just gonna do one last thing, do this event, and then, yeah, that's about it. All right, let's go. All right. Looks like this is the final event. But I, and but obviously this is where oh there's gonna be side events. I'm guessing these are gonna be the final events. Possibly I don't know, but this is where I'm gonna end the video. Is I'm actually gonna save in another location because I don't want to risk having to start the event like on my off time. Where uh until next time. So this is where I'm gonna end it. I'll probably move to another to yeah I'm probably gonna move over to UBX. Yeah. Oh no way to somewhere I don't know somewhere near them save. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe down below. This was a hectic video. I thought that was going to be the final battle, but looks like it's not. And whatever this one is, it's going to be the final journey. Possibly. I have no idea. So, yeah. Hope you liked today's video. Like, subscribe down below. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. Press the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever my videos get up, uh, come up. Or just press, and yeah. Or just come to my channel to see if I updated it or not. Because you know, YouTube doesn't announce basically anybody. But, and once you do, but, uh, once you do click uh, the bell, a big hassle here. Just, there's gonna be a choice between someone, uh, sometimes and all. Press the all one so you'll be notified whenever my videos come up. Because that's basically how YouTube is working now. And also share my videos. Because this dark influence needs to be shared with everybody. I'm trying out some new voice lines here, people. And yeah, that's about it. All right, and if I forgot anything, I'll let you know in the next video. All right, my dark beans dismissed.